Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 9. I'm Sirius JG, and it's time for the Battle of Chen Kang. Maybe? Eventually? We'll get there. Shu's Northern Campaign. We have to defeat Ma Su at Jie Ting, which is kind of a big deal. I think this. I think uh, Zhang He pulls that out and is successful, and that's kind of the battle where Zhuge Liang decides this guy's got to go. He's too big of a threat. Um, oh, but I'm already really close to... That's right, because I actually fast-traveled here at the end of the last video. Oh, that victory could not be any more beautiful. The victory of realizing I've already fast-traveled where I need to go. In battle, you show no hesitation whatsoever. At times, I find myself envious of your strength. Why don't you say that a few more times? I'm not clear Come, on this. I'm going to take you someplace nice. You know, just to show that I'm not Chen that envious of your strength. Stronghold of this battle. For my lord, I will claim it. I will never give Chen Song up. Lord Chen Kong or Chen Kang or whatever it's called. Enable Yue Ying to withdraw. Get inside the castle. Our superior numbers will give us the advantage. Oh yeah, this is siege ramps to scale the wall. This is like a uh, big battle in Dynasty Warriors Five. Using siege towers. In which case, form archers on the walls. Oh. 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 this siege tower. Love the fact that these guys are ignoring me as I attack the siege tower. This is a, an enemy nice. siege. Oh no, they're they're way guys. They're actually attacking it too. Such splendid moves. You are an inspiration to us all. Move your head around a lot when you talk. Baby. The only way my heart can go, as I've indicated previously. I'm cutting off the escape route. We must defend this place with our lives. Um, lady, you haven't actually taken over this place yet. Apparently my special attack does a lot more damage than other stuff, and I should be using it a lot earlier. Because I hack away at one of those things forever and a day before I just do a muso or a special, and it finally just falls immediately. You don't hesitate to start me sewing inanimate objects. The sea trams have all been destroyed. Enemy's defenses are stronger than I anticipated. Guess I should have realized that the guy who single-handedly won every battle since South South stopped personally doing that is a threat. The sea trams may not have worked, but I have more tricks up my sleeve. We'll use rams to smash the gates and create a path for our weaponry. Ooh, path of destruction. Ramps. Hmm. Nice big targets. Let's crush them with rocks. Yeah, you know what? I like crushing things with rocks anyway, so this works out well. Uh. Yeah. How did you get in here anyway? I move with a certain beauty. Even though I didn't actually mean to do what I just oh. did there. <laughs> Any way that I can... Oh, I didn't actually mean to open that. Didn't mean to open the, the gate there. So that was actually a mistake. We've secured a pathway to transport our siege weapons. At last, it's time for my juggernaut. Oh, great. Am I even going to get to see them? Let's crush more stuff with rocks. Even all my best laid plans were not enough to take Chen Song. I am very sorry, my lord. Oh, I'm sorry that I was de Everyone destroyed and didn't even manage to get to use uh, wood and Juggernauts are fine and all, but wood oxen are not sad. We know this. 
that victory could not be any more beautiful. Did I destroy that siege ramp or? or? Splendid moves. You are an inspiration to us all. Well, I guess defeating her was enough. And all the other stuff I was doing was kind of a waste of time, but whatever. Um, Battle of G810. Let's see if we can prevent... Um, can we prevent Jiang Wei from joining Shu? Probably not. Since he's not in Jia Ting, he's in uh, Jian Shui. So now we probably don't get to prevent him from defecting. He uh, was recently drawn to my attention through a comment uh, on an old Dynasty Warriors, I guess. Eight. Yeah, it was Dynasty Warriors 8. It might have been 7. Um, Jiang Wei is defeated by... As, a, as an officer of Wei, is defeated by the forces of Shu and says something about how he deserves to die in the most painful and humiliating way. And I made a quip, which um, <laughs> thoroughly disturbed Bobo and some of the viewers, which I won't be repeating other than to say definitely worth checking out if you want to be just disturbed and worrying about what the fuck is wrong with me. We shall punish their folly by destroying their resupply point. Punish their folly. So Zhang He actually has dialogue here, because I'm assuming if you're not playing as Zhang He, Zhang He is still here and still says that because historically he actually is part of this fight. And again, the victory that Zhang He gets here is, I think in a sense, seals his fate, because Zhuge Liang, after this happens, is like, yeah, we gotta kill this guy. Wait, what's going on with the defense cap? I'm not really sure what the, uh, objective is there. Something was happening with the I'm thoroughly confused. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Like maybe I wasn't supposed to immediately march up the uh, mountaintop to stop him. I'm supposed to secure some kind of. How the hell do we even get up there? Old Mass Effect 1 tactics of just going up at weird angles so that you can practically climb vertical faces in the, in the, uh, or your horse can get stuck. And then I'm stuck too. Okay, kind of broke things for a minute, but we're, we're back. You never expect my sneak attack up a sheer mountain face. No, I did my special just a little too far away. Now it might take me like 10 seconds to defeat him. This wasn't supposed to happen. This isn't what was supposed to go down. As always, my victories are tinged with a hint of beauty. I wasn't supposed to get killed here. I was supposed to escape alive so I could be executed by a tearful Juge Leong. And now the main objective. We only need to be at level 49 to do easily, and we're at level 72. We should be able to defeat Juge Leong rather handily here. Hmm. 
Okay. All right, Juge. What's going on with you, your big hat? Come. I'm going to take you someplace nice. So now a little part of me wonders what would happen if we played as Wang Yi, and, and would she stick around for as long? Because she, she's still here. She's like the only named character uh, who is considered a Wei character, not a Jin character. Who's... Something because it belongs to someone else. I don't know. Uh, um, you, um, in terms of societal norms... Uh, you're kind of belong to Sumi Yi, and I don't want you, so... Then again, uh, Zhang He is kind of, uh... Zhang He is not actually into girls. So he doesn't come across as being a, a ladies' man. Now, Shuma Zhao uh, has a little weird speech about taking you someplace nice. Okay, so we defeated Zhuge Liang. Jian Wei. Has proven every bit as talented as I had. Well, he didn't even do anything. It's all me. He really didn't do anything. I'm glad you're safe. You did a wonderful job holding out against Jugo Leon. Just holding out until I could get here to win the battle. I guess that's fair enough. Master Shahoba. Hey, ah, it is Kermit the Frog. What's up with you? You could be a little happier, you know. Is it human nature to want to walk up to Zhang Chuanhua to end the scenario? Do you not wish for us to pursue the Shu forces, Master Sima Yi? Zhuge Liang appears to have lured Zhang Wei to his side. In off-screen action. <coughs> really? That sucks. It is annoying, but the enemy has already learned our army's formation. Pursuing them now will only lead to heavy losses. Majang is like, why don't you let me just personally defeat their entire army again? We shall withdraw our troops from here for now. Besides, we need to take time as a nation to mourn the loss of our leader. Cao Cao, I mean, forget about Cao Pi. We're still mourning Cao Cao. I will order the men back to Luoyang. I shall see the defenses along the Hangzhong front. Many of General Sha Ho Yuan's men still remain there. Now, if you will please. Even though General Zhou Hao Yuan has been dead for a long time now. If you'll please excuse me, I'm not wearing your little baby blue chin uniform. My lord, you left us far too soon. If you had remained. For another few years, we could have finally put an end to the chaos of this land. Instead, I'm going to have to take over. What a shame. Jung -ho brilliantly saw oh, okay, well, yeah, I guess I should have let the last video go long. However, Shu was guaranteed to attack Wei once again. So, never mind. Zhang He refused to rest on his laurels. Instead, Strengthening Han Zhang's defenses. And ultimately dying. In his thoughts was the image of the brilliant general who had fallen in battle at Han Zhang. He's clearly in love with Zhu Yuan. Determined to carry Jiang out Yuan. the will of his friend. Zhang He drilled the troops each and every day. That takes a lot of stamina, Zhang He. Ooh, a nice uh, bud shot there. Gonna be a wacky dance ending. Are you seeing this? This is so shitty. This army that you entrusted me with, it has managed to evolve even further. It's now a Raichu. Now. Yep. You That's what I figured. But, but they're not dancing. Though. Kind of the halfway point between normal Zhang, goofy Zhang He endings. Training. It's awfully intense. It is this precise motion that makes possible such a splendid attack and defense. Do you see? What do you think, boys? Uh, 
Yes. <gasps> Me too. <gasps> well then. Let me show you the utter beauty. Utter beauty. That our practice has brought out. Now. I guess it hadn't really occurred to me that we were going to get a wacky ending to the end of the whole way story if we played a Zhang, huh? I guess should've, it should have, it should have, but it just kind of didn't occur to me until now. Oh yeah, if we play as Zhang He to see the most complete possible version of the Wade story, it's going to end with a dance number. Oh well. Uh, so... There's Cao Pi. There was some shoe guy before. I don't even think the credits are unique to a kingdom or your character. I wonder if we're hearing, uh, I wonder if you guys are going to hear the music or if it's going to get censored by the interwebs. It's too little broken up. You know, apparently the popular way to play this game is with the Japanese voice acting turned on instead of English. Um, but I just enjoy the crappy English voice acting. Now I really want to have, like, terrible, non-professional English voice actors singing the uh, closing credit theme in English. There you see burning city of Oh no that's sorry, that's Cherby. It's not really a city. So we're just kinda zipping around the ma Oh hey, check it out. Here's our uh, English voice Spencer Howard. Look him up. Find out if he's an actual voice actor, because he did South Sal and was Smoky Miles. He was fairly easily the best voice actor in the game, but that's not really saying a whole lot. Martin Victor, Paul Hearted, whose name for a minute I thought was Paul Hatred. Here's lots of guys from lots of kingdoms. There are heads floating on the map. Feel all right. I think I heard feel all right in the... There's a couple of Liu Bei heads in that picture for some reason. Well, there's two anyway. Now, why isn't there an option for Chinese voice acting? And uh, I've asked this question before in other credits. Why are they showing us the voice acting credits for languages that are not, you know, localized on this? I'm pretty sure uh, I cannot find some setting to let me hear it in Chinese. Don't really know whether they, uh, I guess we'll keep, just keep watching the credits and see. I don't know if they're going to localize into like Spanish or French or German or anything like that. Most of the time they're just, uh, King of the street, I never buy him. Bees. They don't usually localize into that many different languages. Usually you just end up with, like, um, uh, subtitles. But, um, yeah, if it's... A... Hi, guys. Order the DLC today, and you can actually play me using uh, claws, which for some reason... People are so upset Zhang He doesn't use his claws, as though the historical figure actually did. As a reward for reaching the ending, you have obtained one or more of the following... of uh, the Book of Muso items. Yeah, I'm curious. So, there we go. Um, that was Zhang He. Although, actually, we, we did... Um, I don't remember if we played through as... Um, if I actually had recorded any videos using Zhang uh, Ji. I know I've played as Zhang Ji off-screen before. But... Uh, 
There she is. She's uh, basically just some chick that... Uh, in the novel, she's just some chick who gets married to uh, Tao P. That's pretty much it. And then you find out how she died. And you find out how she got married. And that's pretty much all we ever hear. So we pretty much played as Cao Cao and Zhang He. So Cao Cao is an officer of Wei. Once under the command of Yuan Chao, he was forced into a tight corner due to false charges brought against him by Guo Tu. He then went on to serve Cao Cao and fought mainly against the Shu forces, where his abilities were acknowledged by Zhuge Liang. The Battle of Jia Ting, he surrounded Monsu and defeated him. He was counted among the five generals of Wei. Yep. So in fact, his most famous battles are um, switching sides during... Um, the battle whose name I'm just blanking on now, the uh, the big throwdown, Guandu, the big throwdown between Yuan Shao and Cao Cao. And then that one, I guess um, that is, he just shows up as a char- as a background character in so many of the Wei missions over the years that I didn't really think about the fact that, yeah, in the novel, his, it's his, big, vi- his big win uh, is a GA-10. Then, of course, you got Cao Cao, the King of Wei. He was also called the Hero of Chaos, a man of many talents. He wrote or annotated numerous books on strategy and tactics during the Yellow Turban Rebellion. He joined the Imperial Forces, took himself on the battlefield, following the death of Dong Zhuo. He was strengthened his foothold in the troubled Central Plains, thereby establishing the foundations for what would become the Wei Empire. And that's kind of the people that we played as. We didn't get the big ending for Cao Cao. You can look that up on the interwebs if you want. I, I do kind of regret now thinking back um, that we didn't get to see his ending. Because when he just dies, it's not really that made as big a part of the story as you might think. Well, that's it. It is, uh... We'd have a couple more... Um, Yeah, we'd have a couple more uh, missions to go here. Now, with Wang Yi, it's just possible that her story continues on further than Zhang Hayes does to the revolt on Wei, but not really. So, basically, he got us to the chapter, A New Generation. So after his defeat, the Battle of Yiling, Liu Bei dies, disappointed man. Uh, Liu, yeah, we don't really see that because it's the big events of Wu versus, Wu versus Shu. Um, Liu Shan takes over, Zhuge Liang launches his attack to the north. And that kind of wraps that up. So the only two chapters that are left um, is basically Jin. Um, and then more Jin. So you have Jin seizing power, and and then I have a chapter about uh, Shu uh, fighting back. So you have a whole chapter where Jin takes control of Wei, which happens basically right after the events we saw, more or less. And then you have the final battle between Jin and Shu. I'm thinking there's probably no Wu characters you can even play in these chapters. The Wu story probably wraps up. Um, there might be a little bit of Wu stuff going on uh, here with, um, like, you know, the weird looking dude with the giant. Um, what is his name? You know, weird looking dude. Ding Feng. Yeah, Ding Feng. It's possible that some of those guys hang around. But I'm thinking you've got a few people you can play as for Yi Ling, and after Yi Ling, Wu kind of drops out of the story. Shu, on the other hand, being the main faction that the book is actually about, Jiang Wei doesn't pop up until Chapter 11, but you could play him all the way through to the end of the game, I'm sure. Meanwhile... Yeah, Jing Sai pops up in Chapter 8. Liu Shan doesn't pop up until Chapter 10. That's kind of surprising. Um, where's Yue Ying? Okay, Yue Ying pops up the same time Zhuge Liang does. So Yue Ying would be a, 
she probably disappears from the story at the same time as Yuki Leong does. Yeah, to play through all the way as Shu, you'd really need to do one of the three Sworn Brothers. Probably you could play as Liu. Well, actually, to really do it, you'd want to play Liu Bei until you get Zhuge Liang, then play Zhuge Liang until you get Jiang Wei, and then you'd finish it up. I'm just kind of stalling now, because uh, we've finished this off, uh, the Wei story. So my intention was to um, play as um, Suma Zhao to wrap up uh, the story, because we'd have to we'd be replaying a little bit of stuff that we already saw. No, wait, he, he really doesn't begin until chapter 11. He's, he's almost perfect for this. Um... Because there's other characters. I don't know who Jin Jiangying is. Um, why she pops up so much earlier than even Suma Yi. But uh, no, I mean, the, the thing to do would be to play as Suma Zhao, who's the closest to being the guy who wins the game of anybody. Also, I found out apparently you need to play as him or Zhang Hui or Deng. I, like, there's only certain characters who allow you to unlock this last guy because there's one guy I haven't unlocked. And in order to actually see the end of the game, I already played through as, as the Ladies of Jin, but not her. So I'm thinking next time I'll just start Chapter 11, um, the Suma Zhao story, and uh, in a sense, it'll, it'll, it'll feel kind of sucky, I guess, that we don't play a Jin story all the way from near the beginning of Jin, but at the same time I kind of feel like we saw 8 billion scenes of Suma Yi. I think it would just be exactly the same as Wei up until you get to this chapter anyway. So that's it. I'm calling it. Uh, when we come back next time, I guess people let me know if, if people really strongly want to see a playthrough of Shu and Wu. Well, I'd have to think about it and uh Probably that would mean I would not start. I would come back and do what I normally do, which is play as Jin at the end. But, um. Yeah. If, if people really want to see a playthrough with any, you know, with Wu, I'm certainly not going to play as more than however many characters it takes to play through. But I mean, it's it's tricky. You never you never know. I have no idea which Wu character would actually take me through to the end. Uh, well, I played off screen as Hamdinger's just for fun. Probably for variety's sake, I'd like to play as one of the ladies. Once you actually unlock them. Um. But I have no idea. Shang Jang likely hangs around until near the end of the story. I don't think we're going to see the uh, novel's ending for Shang Jang, which is she kills herself because uh, she's despondent over the death of Liu Bei. But um, we might see some tragic ending for her. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm calling it a video. When we come back... Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to just go ahead and start recording Suma Zhao's story or uh, or wait until people have had a chance to respond in the comments. But um, if you just start seeing Suma Zhao videos popping up, you still have an opportunity to come in and say, hey, let's, um, I really like to see Wu and Shu and, and not just have this be uh, a fairly short let's play of this game. But you know what? This game just really is not that great. It's, it's been fun to make fun of, but I feel like um, certainly I have no desire to play through any Forces story more than once, now that I've already played through all the way with uh, with uh, Wei. There's, there's nothing calling me back to say, like, like, the idea, it could be fun, like, for a couple of, for a couple of minutes, I'd be having fun playing as, like, Kai Wenji or, or Wang Yi or even Ju Huang or somebody, but like that, that wouldn't last. 
I guess I'm kind of curious to see about the endings for some of these characters to see if they make it all the way um, into a later chapter. But that's going to be it for now. I really am just vamping here, much like uh, that one guy from uh, Jin. So I'll talk to you guys later.